We're giving you an in-depth look at the major construction projects happening around the area, and today we're showing you the work on the Howard Franklin Bridge. You've probably noticed the crews there have made a lot of progress over the last few months. And besides, Beth Rousseau spoke with FDOT about what you can expect this year for this new span of the bridge. Good morning, Beth. Hey, good morning. So if you've driven on or anywhere near the Howard Franklin Bridge, then you've seen the construction work that's going on. As the sun starts to come up, you can clearly see the cranes that are there behind me. There's barges and a whole lot of crews that are out here on a regular basis. 2024 is going to bring big milestones for the new project. Construction of the new Howard Franklin Bridge is FDOT's biggest job in the Tampa Bay area. The work is impossible to miss. We have upwards of 30 cranes, 60 barges. It's really visible um, and just very fun to watch because it doesn't affect traffic as you drive by. You can just enjoy um, the scenery and the progress. This bird's eye view from Eagle 8 shows the progress on the $864 million project. During a tour of the construction site, we could see crews just finished placing the last of more than 3,000 piles, the main foundation pieces that go into the water. The new structure um, the, is going to carry eight lanes of traffic, uh, four lanes going southbound in the, that replace the existing bridge, and then um, two lanes in each direction for express lanes. So it'd be double the capacity. FDOT leaders say during the first part of 2024, drivers will notice concrete decks and beams being placed on both ends of the structure. Improvements on the new bridge also include a shared path for cyclists and pedestrians and the ability to accommodate a light rail. So this bridge is anticipated to have a service life of 100 years, and in that period of time, a lot can change with transportation. So the department wanted to be prepared um, in case there was an initiative for rail in the future that we would have a bridge that accommodates it. Drivers, if this is part of your daily commute, you're going to notice big shifts in traffic this year because they are hoping to have traffic driving on the new structure by the end of 2024 and have the whole project wrapped up by 2025. We're live in Hillsborough County, Beth Russo, eight on your side.